What's going on guys, Victor here. I got a redfish catch clean cook for you, but to start out the video, how about a giant giveaway? We got bucktail jigs, we got jig pouches, pliers, vertical jigs, brand new tough line fluorocarbon leader. Been using this stuff, absolutely love it. It's only been out for a couple months now. We got some braid and all of this can be yours. There's two ways to enter. You guys can enter on YouTube right here on this video simply comment below save 20 percent off must add products or tough line products use code landshark and that's actually a true statement you guys can save 20 percent off both must add and tough line products use my code landshark it'll be linked below but you can also have a second chance to win on my instagram which is at landshark outdoors i'll have it on the screen here as well as in the description box below we are headed to new england to film a bunch of videos for you guys tuna lobster clams all sorts of stuff can't wait to share it with you so enjoy today's video hey guys i think i got myself slot redfish after catching like 15 jackson ladyfish we got ourselves a slot red Woo! chris it's a slot i'm telling you dude. get him in like 20 lady fish and jacks to get this thing but look at this we're out at sebastian inlet fishing the tip it is really rough but um we're just fishing the outside it's now going tide and it's the mullet run right now there's no mullet pouring through but redfish and snook they like to stage up at the mouth of the inlet and we'll slot red on a mullet on bottom very pretty fish you got the signature false eye right there and uh that's dinner right there 23 inches. Hey, hey. 23 inches on the dot. That's sandbar, right? So before we got out here, Chris netted a bunch of finger mullet, about that size. But I'm looking for one a little bit bigger. I'm looking for a little bit of a bigger finger mullet because when you fish the really small ones, the ladyfish, the bluefish, the jacks get to it first. So the longer you spend down there with a bigger bait, the greater your chance of catching a snooker or a red is because there's less of those than there are all the jacks and mackerel and bluefish and stuff so so there's a little notch right here that i like to go into and i only go through the top lip because if you shut both lips open they can't breathe as well and uh they're gonna die faster so just through the top right there little 30 mustad 40 pound tough line leader and the jacks and ladyfish bluefish tends to congregate more at the mouth of the inlet the resin snook they'll kind of sit here and out there as well. That's where I just caught that redfish. Cast it out there. And just let it sit on bottom. <laughs> pretty sure I got pretty sure I got redfish number two on. Redfish the, fever. The redfish actually pull drag. The bluefish and jacks don't really Oh the redfish Oh god, I just got broke off. I think everything's gone. I think it got eight. I'm not even kidding. Did you see that? It looked like something ate it. What? I mean, they're gonna see. Oh, it's a red! It's a red! It's a slot red! Hey, your boy's got two slot reds under his belt now. Look at this. Hey, he's not in the boat yet. Two slot reds. Chris says there's no land in that. It's like the, the clone of the other one. You know what? We came out here. We were just gonna have a sandbar day. Emily, Chris, and Brooke. But we got two slot reds, a ton of jacks, ladyfish, bluefish, which we didn't really film. We were just kind of fun fishing, and I just brought the GoPro just in case. And we got two slot reds, so I think we're going to have a good dinner with these guys. This one's probably in the 24 to 25 inch range, and they're just crushing the finger mullet on bottom. Funny little mouth they got right there. That blue in their tail, I don't know if it's true, but I was told that they get that from eating a lot of shrimp and shellfish, like blue crabs and stuff. Well, I wish I had a little bit more fishing footage for you guys, but we were just out there having fun and I happened to bring a GoPro. It wasn't supposed to be a filming day, but uh, guess what? We got two redfish for the dinner table, eight inch Dexter for this redfish, and you guys can actually save 20% off. Use my code Landshark. I'll have the knife and the code linked below. Redfish are one of my favorite eating inshore fish. Um, a very popular thing to do with these fish is eat them on the half shell. 
which is when you leave the um, the skin and the scales on, which I'm not gonna do in today's recipe. Real pretty fish, and they are very prevalent this time of year in like the Sebastian area. These redfish, they'll follow the finger mullet during the uh, the mullet run, during the migration, and. Um, we get the smaller redfish, or as I call them, the slot size reds this time of year. And then the further we get into winter, as uh, the mullet run kind of dies out, you get those big bull reds that are too big to keep. But beautiful, beautiful fillets. Redfish, for me, I like it the most. Out of snook, sheep's head, all the intro fish, redfish is my favorite. So with fish that have really big scales like this, snapper, redfish, it's nice to go into the scales with your knife because if you try to go against them, if you try to go this way, it's just gonna slide off. You gotta kinda go into those scales. Go over that rib cage, break through the pin bones. Down on the other side of the backbone. And one of these redfish was actually bled and the other wasn't. So I'm very curious to see the difference between the two. So a very traditional way to eat this fish, which is I know Brookie's favorite, who's behind the camera, is to eat it on the half shell, which is just like that. That's basically your pan. You throw it on the grill or in the oven. And it's a neat way to cook fish because that skin really traps in all the moisture of the fish and nothing really the moisture doesn't escape. It's a really juicy way to cook your fish. All right, and now we just gotta skin it, and that's it. And this eight inch narrow filet is a perfect skinning knife as well. Always line your filet up with the edge of the table. Slight angle down towards the scales. Skin comes off. And then you just got to remove the pin bones, which lie about halfway up towards the filet, just like so. And that's it. Boneless, skinless redfish filet. All right, so we're going to do a little baked fish. I'm just lightly seasoning them. The other side's already seasoned, and I did a little olive oil on both sides as well. So salt, paprika, garlic powder, black pepper. Now we're gonna make like a little honey soy glaze to kind of coat our fish into a little sheet pan fish. So honey first. And this is super easy because all you're doing is balancing the flavors of sweet, salty, um, acidic. So I'm gonna be using some lime juice and mirin for the acidic part, and then fat. Uh, my fat of choice is gonna be sesame oil and probably a little bit of olive oil. And you kinda just taste it as you go, and then you can add some aromatics like garlic or scallion or ginger if you'd like, and you just find the balance. If it's too salty, add a little bit more liquid. If it's too sour, don't add any more acid. So gochujang, this is what I used in the last video. This is a fermented red pepper paste. Really delicious, but spicy, so not gonna use too much of it, but it's got a really good, um, just aromatic smell to it. It's very strong stuff, but it just tastes really good. So sesame oil. Got that much sesame oil. Soy sauce for the salinity. Now our acid, we're gonna do a combination of mirin. And a little bit of lime juice, get some citrus in there. Now we're gonna add some garlic to this. There's your aromatic. I basically doubled what I showed you guys. Garlic, soy, sesame oil, gochujang, 
Uh, lime juice. Lime juice, mirin, honey. Keep adding, taking away, or just keep adding until you balance out the flavors. That's all it is, is balance of sweet, spicy, salty, fat. That's it. So now we're just gonna try to do an even amount on all the fish. Beautiful redfish going in the oven, 400 degrees. So Brick and I are going to New England for the next like 12 days, tuna fishing, lobster, tog, stripers, all sorts of stuff. Very excited to share that with you guys. So we're trying to empty out our fridge. So for lunch, do a little stir fry. We had some onions, we had some carrots, bok choy leftover from a kitchen cook, napa cabbage leftover for, from a kitchen cook. So first onions and carrots going in. Our onions and carrots take the longest to cook, so that's why I put them in first. Okay, carrot and onion cooked enough. Now in with the ginger. Ginger, garlic. For about 10, 15 seconds or so, so it doesn't burn. And with the Napa cabbage and the bok choy. It's certainly gonna be juicy. So you got baked redfish with a honey soy glaze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that stuff looks good. We'll see. <laughs> Off camera, jasmine rice. Wish we had more of this bok choy. It's the good stuff, but we don't have that much. And then totally lunch, rest. not a dinner. Everybody gets two pieces of fish. Mm. Yeah? That's, yeah? Yeah. There's plenty. You gotta spoon this on. Over your rice. I'm gonna have one more bite before I tell you. Mmm. <laughs> That's absolutely heavenly. I know this house and this channel is all about eating everything. And I really enjoy eating everything. Yes. And, and learning about everything. But boy, when you get a plate of redfish or a plate of mutton, it's, it's just, oh my gosh, this is so good. It kind of turned into like, a light glaze. It's amazing. The fish turned out perfect, like the texture, and it's super, super soft. And the, the sauce with that honey is amazing. So I never filmed an outro for this video, but a little update. I know I haven't been posting any videos, and that's because Brick and I have been in New England, Cape Cod, New York, all sorts of places in the Northeast filming a bunch of videos for you guys. So we're actually on our way back down. We're in Virginia. Our last stop is going to be Panama City, film some offshore stuff there for you guys. So uh, that's all I got. Don't forget, enter the giveaway. You guys can either do it on Instagram, at Landshark Outdoors, or comment below, save 20% off code Landshark on Mustat and Toughline products. That's all I got for you guys. Catch you in the next one.